You know, if you see a polynomial function, it turns out that without doing all the complicated work that sometimes we see in order to create a very accurate uh, graph of it or to actually find the zeros of it, we can just casually look at it and actually get some insight into the, into the picture, into the graph associated with that function. Let's take a look at an example, the polynomial function, and see that we can say a lot. Here's the polynomial function p of x equals negative x cubed minus 2x squared plus x plus 5. All right. Well, there's lots of terms there, and it seems sort of, um, oh, I don't know, maybe threatening. And it turns out that all those terms are relevant and important if you want to produce a very accurate graph associated with this particular function. But if you want to forego the accuracy but get sort of a rough feel as to what this thing might look, la look, at, look like, it turns out all you've got to do is really look at what's going on on the very highest, the highest power. So we look at the degree of the polynomial defined to be the highest power uh, on all the x's. In this case, we see that this is a cubic because the highest power is uh, 3, x cubed. And it turns out that you can tell lots by looking at that term. In some philosophical sense, that sort of dictates, that's the dominating term to figure out what the global structure of this graph is going to look like. And so we can actually see that by, first of all, just looking at what happens as we have different, different powers. So it turns out if we have degree 1, the degree is what we call the highest power in the polynomial. So this is of degree 3, for example. Degree 1 would mean that we just have something that looks like that. Highest power is the invisible 1. But we know that's a straight line, and so we're talking about a linear function. It might not look exactly like this. It could be any kind of linear function. Um, if we have degree 2, so if it looks something like that, then we have a quadratic, and then we have a parabola. And again, this is just a generic parabola. It could be any place all over. It could be even uh, pointing down. If we have degree 3, we're going to potentially have sort of uh, two bends, one, two bends. That would be degree 3. Degree 4 might have as many as three bends, one, two, three bends. Degree 5 might have as many as four bends, one, two, three, four. Four. So, for example, if someone showed me this graph, I would never guess that it was a degree 3, a degree 2, or a degree 1 polynomial because it has too many bends. So just by looking at this, I can actually say that it might look something like this. Now, of course, the leading coefficient, that's the coefficient that's in front of the, the x term with the highest power, in this case, x cubed. In this case, we see it's a negative 1. Well, the negative 1 actually tells us, in some sense, at least the sign, uh, whether this thing is sort of a happy-faced thing or a sad-faced thing. Well, we've seen sort of happy-faced parabolas and sad-faced parabolas, and we've seen there that that's determined by the sign of the coefficient on the x squared term. But it turns out that's true with all of these. Of course, they don't look like happy faces anymore, although you can think of them as happy faces. If uh, a, the leading coefficient, is positive and we have an odd degree, then in fact it's going to have this sort of general shape where we start off way down here on the left at kind of negative infinity and sort of rise up to positive infinity. We might have wiggles in between, but the end result is going to be up to positive infinity. And with even degrees, we're going to have that smiley face type picture. There might be some um, little vibrations going on here. We might sort of go back and forth, but the ends are always going to be pointing up, happy. However, if we have a leading coefficient that's negative, then in fact we see sort of the, the flip of this over the x-axis. So as we go uh, off to the left, we see that this is going off to positive infinity. And as we go off to the right, we see now we're dropping to negative infinity. And similarly, with even degrees, we have sort of a frowny face as we look toward the, toward the ends. So here, what I can see is that this is a cubic degree 3 polynomial. Leading coefficient is, in fact, negative, and so the picture is going to be something like this, although there might be a little bit more dramatic, loopy kind of thing. I see this is the, the general sense of the picture. What about this? This I see is a polynomial of degree 8. I see uh, 8 is uh, even, and so since it's even, I know that it's going to be something that looks like this. There might be a lot of wiggles in between, but I know that since we have a leading coefficient of 5, and 5 is positive, then I see that, in fact, it's going to end up being a smiley face, even though in between there might be some dental work required. Anyway, just by looking at the degree of the polynomial, the, the power on the highest uh, power of x, we get a sense of what the graph might look like. And looking at the coefficient in front of that, also known as the leading coefficient, we can tell if the thing is a happy-faced or a sad-faced graph.